for that we'll just use a basic um, lexicon pathion no problem just a little bit of loop there you can make it whatever you want I'm gonna do like maybe just a small haul I don't you don't want to put a whole bunch on there but you want to give it some kind of effect you know what I'm saying let's play it percent on there that's cool and in our drums we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna right click uh, and we're gonna go to audio effects we're gonna go down here to lexicon which comes with um, sonar I'm gonna put that on there but this one we're gonna do uh, a drum chamber and they have cool little presets and I like to use the uh, the most profound sound in there is either the kick or the snare, so let's just go with the snare. Let's bring it down to like 5%, not a whole lot, and press play. Uh, we're going to keep toggling back and forth to the track view and the console view. And you see that? It's kind of heavy. I'm gonna take it down just a few scotch. You don't want it too heavy with, with things. There's still more to add on there, you know. So. Contrary to popular opinion, you want the drums to be pretty loud and the bass even though it's the most pr profound if you're playing your music in a club <clears throat> which is what you want if you're making a hip-hop track anyway you don't want the bass to be too heavy because when they play it in the club the bass drums kind of overdo it for you so you want it to be maybe like a secondary even though you know when you're playing in your car it comes out loud but you don't want it to be too heavy in your mix so <laughs> Strings are kind of over loud too, so I'm going to take them down, strings, and that lead is kind of loud. So you know, when you're mixing, it comes out fine, you just make sure you got to just have a pretty good deep mix. And that effect that I had in there from the drums is really loud. So we need to go to our track view and we'll click on drums, click on the MIDI, the MIDI plug right here for drums. Go to, and we'll turn that down, turn that a little down. It's kind of loud. All of it you don't want too loud. You want to make sure everything's kind of low because the most profound thing you want in there is your um, vocal anyway. So. Check on before you bring your main lead in. Is, uh, we're going to turn that, that effect back up. you have that you can kind of take everything out and just what I like to do is just have <clears throat> the bass drum the ba the drums um, and the bass the drums and the bass and the vocal and the and the lead so let's go to lead 
here. And we're going to change these to be because that's OE. So now we're going to turn auto tune on, but we're not going to put it on the T pain. In fact, we're just going to make sure that it's correct in the pitch. All right. And then what you want to do now is we want to set up effects in our uh, vocals. So, uh, and also we want to set up, we want to get everything on pitch. So we're going to take our auto tunes, we press control, click on auto tunes, but first you're going to turn it on and then you just slide it over. And then what happens is it pulls it up when you slide it over to the next track. Pull it down to where you know you're going to be able to do it and turn it off. All right, so what happens is um, slide it over and it pulls it down there. Where you close it is where it comes back again, so it's out of the way. So that's what you want you to do. You want to slide all those over there. And that's for pitch correcting because, <laughs> you know, we're mixing and you want it to sound good to people's ears. Right, so if you want to sound good people's ears, you got to do pitch correction so you can get everything right. Now, so that's all you really need to do individually in those. And then all your main chorus vocals are going to the vocals send that's coming out of the send. So then your mixing, as far as getting those the right shape and sound, is all going to come from there. But your lead is going to be by itself, so you want to handle the lead uh, personally. And what I do on the lead, uh, in sonar anyway, is I add several different uh, effects. Now, if you're not going to use, um, you got to make sure you have compression. Now, some of these effects come with compression already in them. Like, if we go to VST plugins, the Vintage Channel, Vintage Channel VC64, this is one of my favorites I, that I use. And I always start with that one. That one pulls up, and they have a preset which makes it sound sick. Now, you can use whatever effects you want, but this is the effect that I use, but you can use whatever effect you want to use. So, and I, they have one called Lumen Fire Liquid Boost, so I like to use either one of those is fine. That makes it sound good. And then, also I put on there, I go here and I put a VST plugin. I'll plug in the, uh, let's see. I'll plug in a delay. Um, if you listen to a lot of music, delay is on there quite a bit. So we'll plug, we're going to plug in delay. And Cakewalk has a pretty decent delay. You can use there. No, I don't like that one. That's not the one I like. We use another one. All right, right Cakewalk. Let's go to Sun, sun of this. Let's go with delay there. Whatever, that's fine, that's fine. You just gotta make sure that it's right. You gotta mix it down, make sure it's not too far in the mix. You gotta bring it to like 10 or 15. You don't want it to be so profound that it sounds ridiculous. Um, we're gonna go here and place where we think it. in it. It's got a cool little mix to it. And it sounds like... Sometimes what you can do is you can save. I'm just adding these now. I'm going to take all these out. And I'm going to show you another way. Once you get things going, you can take the same stuff from your old, old mixes and, and dump them right into here. Now I'm going to show you that. We'll just continue to where we're going. Um, the next thing I put in is... Uh, is... 